Kane Conlon is younger. The weight is the same. A significant height advantage for Conlon. Naranoa, though, has the experience advantage in 40 fights under his belt. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is quarterfinal fight number two in the lightweight eight-man eliminator. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from West Auckland, New Zealand, representing Strike Force. He's the current WKBF South Pacific and welterweight, former WMC New Zealand welterweight champion. He has 15 wins, five losses, one draw, with four big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Kane Insane Conlon! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Napier, representing Danny Verk Bulldog Jim. He's the current 61 2 kg WMC New Zealand super lightweight and former 60 kg North Island and Junior TBA champion. He has 30 wins with 10 losses, with three big wins coming by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Pumipi Caesar Nanando! Fighters to the center ring, please. It's now time for Clyde Colley's instructions. Hey guys, we're having a king in the ring. Uh, listen to me and obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times, okay? No elbows in these fights, yeah? Okay, step back, have a good fight. Greg. Yep. Well, yep. this is quarterfinal Phoenix. number two. Both these fighters, my picks, as dark horses in the tournament. Kane Conlon's fought as high as 67 kilos. He's the naturally the bigger man of the You're two. Right, Naranoa, though, has a significant experience advantage. 20 more fights under his belt. Both men are champions. Conlon, the South Pacific welterweight champion. Naranoa, the super lightweight New Zealand champion. Conlon coming out of the blue corner. White trunks with the Ready. yellow trim. Naranoa out of the red is the shorter of the two in the silver shorts. Lead off. Thigh kick from Conlon. Jabs and left hooks, throws the knee high. Big. Well, once again, there is no questions, no asking how's your father. Uh, simply into action. These two would fight in the phone box for free. Conlon now starting to use his range. Although that was a nice sweep and high kick there from Naranar. Steps over with the right hand. Okay, stop. Is it coming together? Work out yet? Yeah? K1 rules, so no extended clinch. Naranar is a very good Thai stylist. And is quite happy to clinch on the inside, but Conlon would do best to keep it on the outside. Big right hand step up, left knee there. Conlon though answers back. With the low kick, which put Naranoa off balance. To and fro bout once again. A minute gone. Nice work with the left hook lead kick from Conlon. That's just the slip from Naranara as he went high with the left leg. Conlon, though, when he sticks that jab out, really finds good range with both his kicks and knees. Naranara knows he has to get on the inside. But he's not a hand puncher. Conlon using his range well now. Big knee from Naranara. He is explosive. But he needs to throw punches in bunches. At the moment, he's just throwing the single shot. Out of it. Fight. And that's the punch you see the overhand right there by Nara Noa against the taller fighter. That's the one he can't see. He goes out of his range a little bit visibility wise, and that's the one he's going to get some joy. When he does throw that, he just needs to come up stairs with a left uppercut or a left hook. Nice counter kick there from Conlon. Good evasion from Nara Noa. Conlon is a little bit rough going forward. He needs to be cautious. He doesn't get caught by a counter shot. But He's dominating this round in terms of clean shots, landing, and aggression at this point. Naranoa, a little bit caught out without having the grapple, or the extended grapple that suits his tie style. And again, just throws a single shot to look for the knee. Nice work from Conlon. He can throw those legs high. 
And again, he takes a half step back, keeps his range, and finds a home for the right hand. They're not heavy shots, but they're scoring. And they prevent Naranara from coming in. Clyde Cowley once again. Nice left hook there from Naranara. One of the few punches he landed cleanly in this round so far. Well, a spirited first round, evenly contested, though Conlon landed the cleaner shots, Monty. Yes. I think not on all, though. Just missed it over and right on a number of occasions. And I think you can find that from Redden there, giving his information to his fighter there. You see, the shots, a lot of leg kicks. Just evaded the right head kick there. The flying knee from Conlon. But it's that one there once again. It's the overhand right from Naranoa. He's got to set up more. He's got to go that body a bit, get a little bit closer, tuck that overhand right down, and keep your vision up and make sure that you contact on that chin there. Because I think if he cops one of those there, Mike, it will change the complexity of this fight. For the most part, Conlon is on his balance well. He counters well in particular. He steals the point back. Now, no, he's a short, powerful fighter. If he manages to land that overhand right and follow up with perhaps a left hook or a left uppercut, that could do some damage against the taller boy. Kane Conlon on the right of your screen. White shorts, yellow trim. Now, no, the shorter of the two. Conlon tripling up on the kick. Now, no, caught the kick. You can't hold on to the kick under K1 rules or King in the Ring rules. Bang overhead right there that landed from Naranoa. Now he's going to work. Again, the clinch is broken up. Naranoa needs to get those hands to work. Lead off with the hands, set up the kick low. Again, lead with the left uppercut. That swinging overhand right. He just needs to drop his trajectory of his punch, drop that down to the chest and have more effectiveness. Good work from Naranoa. Now he's leading off and leading low. And again, the left uppercut comes off the overhand right, and he's had some success with it. Conlon now having a bit more respect for the shorter fighter. Heavy kick high from the right leg. Naranoa just reaching a little bit. He is unorthodox. Halfway through this, the second round. This is the second quarterfinal of the King of the Ring. A step over right hand from Naranoa. Conlon drifting to his right. Looking to come back with his right hand or right kick. And there's that kick to the ribs. Clattering against the ribs of Naranoa, who's very effective with his evasion. He's just not faking enough from the outside to set up those shots. Take the front kick downstairs from Conlon, showing some good variation. Spinning back fists. And another spinning back fist from Naranoa. They are allowed on the King of the Ring rules. Doubling up again with the kick. Good evasion once again from Naranoa. I think Naranoa's lead leg's taking too much punishment there, Mike. That's why he's going in to step in and come around with the spinning back fist. Whether it's a planned move or whether it's due to the punishment he's taking. And you saw the left hand, the lead hand of Naranoa drop to the thigh. His lead leg, his left thigh, there is noticeable reddening there. And Conlon has been chipping away. That is a very painful spot. And it will take away the punching power. Great work from Conlon. He's clearly following a game plan from his corner. Whipping right kick to the thigh. You can see... Going to the inside leg, below the check there. Step up knee from Conlon. Again goes downstairs. Naranoa, he's just starting to lose balance. And then we have the end to our second round. It was a better one for Naranoa. But I favour Conlon once again on a succession of stinging leg kicks to Naranoa's lead thigh. Legs, legs. All good. All good, eh? Well, now we can use them. Okay? Use them. Busy, busy, man. Cut low. Just cut low. Finish high. Okay? Easy. 
Don't overload your punches. Bring them back. Fast. They've got to be fast. You're overloading, bro. You're trying to... All right, chopping the leads. Good. One, three. Chop the lead. One, three. Look down to my pie. Boom. Yeah. All right. With the knee, you're just a little bit out of range. Yeah. All right. Second down for the third. That's a very composed corner, Aaron Boys. He's calling for the kicks. Down low, down low, three or four down low, then look low, kick high with the right head kick. Naranoa, simply told, get busy. And uh, kick low and come up high as well. Conlon, though, looks to head in this round. Naranoa needs to find something. And again, just going low again, chopping down on that lead fire, drawing the attention down low. Those, that's a nice little right hand down the guard, splitting the middle from Naranoa. Just doesn't quite seem to have enough power to get Conlon's respect. Naranoa always looking for the knee on the inside, as opposed to volleys of punches. Good sticky jab there from Conlon. Shuffles back out of range. It's a knee to the body, it will be a slip. Well, I don't agree with that decision. It was a knee to the body. I don't see that it should have been scored an eight count. But Clyde Cowley is closer to the action than we are. He saw something we couldn't. Well, Naranoa he is now well behind on this card. An eight count, that's an automatic loss of two points. And he's probably behind having lost the first two rounds. Conlon could pretty much be on his bike for the rest of the round and take this fight comfortably. Naranoa is not a man who's going to let that happen, though. Naranoa looking for the tie dump in the clinch, but that's not allowed under King of the Ring rules. Naranoa just not effective with his shots. Conlon, he's stronger and he's landing the cleaner shots. Beautiful work from Conlon. Uses his range well. That was a slip. He's caught off balance and he's back to the ropes. When there has been moments when he's looked a little bit vulnerable, Conlon, it's in here in the clinches when he doesn't quite have control of his limbs, not tight enough, and that's when this guy here, Naranoa, has a chance to connect with the chin. Naranoa, he looks explosive. He looks like he could do some damage, but he just hasn't been able to land. And it's the story of a taller man against a shorter man who knows how to use this range. And Conlon is using his range well. He doesn't cramp himself. He ties it up on the inside. Clyde Cowley almost called the break there. Clyde has fought out of the clinch. Conlon missing with the high knee. Narano is certainly brave. There's no quit in this Danny Vick pulled off. Counter right hand there from Conlon. Just too tight with his defense for the most part, although he was caught by that teeth coming in. Just 10 seconds in the round. Well, an unceremonious end to what has been a great fight. A brave fight from Naranoa. Conlon, though, with the eight count at the end of the round, looks to have taken it comfortably as we await the judge's decision. Well, crisp combination punching sets up the kick. I thought that came off the chest. Hard to tell from that angle, but it was called an eight count. No, it was a knee. Great call from Clyde Cowley. He saw it. Faster eyes than we had in the commentary box. Legitimate eight count. The judges do their job. Seems academic. The judges will favour Conlon. He landed crisp punching combinations, devastating kicks, and that coup de grace eight count. As we head to Lieutenant Dan with the decision. Fighters in the centre ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of lightweight kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 
where we find a unanimous decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Kane Insane Conley! Shot Kane! Go, okay, Kane. Uh, is there any truth? This is a 62 kg limit in terms of weight. Is there any truth that you walk around that close to 70 kilos? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> so, uh, last night after the weigh in, you had plenty to eat. Uh, what did you weigh in on the scales came in today? Because as a big man, you certainly showed your presence. Uh, <laughs> uh, I weighed in today like, you know, 70, so I'm well fed, well rehydrated. I'm not happy until that belt's wrapped firmly around my waist. You feeling confident then the belt around your waist because you sure looked the part in that belt. Thank you, yep, very sure. It's mine. Here's your winner, Kane Conlon. When we come back after the break, stay with us for more action in King in the Ring.